Today's video is an update on my electric blue jack Dempsey's. Some of you guys have been really bothering me about these fish and the reason I've been putting it off is because I've been wanting to give the fish the most time possible so that I can see if they can stand the test of time for their survival rate. And sure enough, um, two of them have passed. Two of the four have passed and I'm, I'm pretty much convinced that these fish are just not sturdy they're really probably not safe for people to keep and uh, the whole the whole backstory is I published a couple of videos saying don't buy these fish they keep dying the fish stores were even telling me uh, personally because they know me on a personal level hey Chris all these fish we're selling all the electric blue Dempsey's are dying just so you know um, even though you're looking at buying them we just want to let you know and I'm like really this is the weirdest thing ever why would you why would you have fish on the shelf for sale that you know are going to die? And he says, you know, they sell like crazy, but they die. And anyways, I made some videos and it got a bunch of controversy. People were like, oh, you're stupid. You don't know how to take care of fish, blah, 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 blah. And this guy actually reached out to me and said, hey, I'm a huge seller on Aquabid. My electric blue Dempsey's are a different strain and they are super sturdy. I'm going to send you some for free and change your mind on electric blue Dempsey's. And he sent them to me for free. I got four of them. And I will admit, they, were, they are way more sturdy fish. I have two of the four, so that means something. Let's, uh, they're in this tank behind me. <clears throat> Let's flip the cam and take a look. All right, for those of you that follow the channel, um, these guys were in a 60 gallon tall. It's one of Marine Land's new style tanks. It's uh, 36 by 18 and like 26 inches high. It probably wasn't the most ideal for them. That's why I made the choice to transition them over to this 75 gallon. And when they were in the 60 gallon tall, they were kind of timid and always hiding. And I didn't really like that, even though I put pots and stuff in there to kind of give them the security and chance to move around, they still just weren't doing anything ever. So I decided to add some tank mates. I threw in a blood parrot and a super small jaguar cichlid, um, like inch and a half fry, essentially, like a very small juvenile. And that still didn't help. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move them in a different footprint tank. So I threw them in this 75 gallon tank and I lost another one. So now I only have two of the four because one died in the 60 gallon and then another died during that transition. And I tested the water. Um, the liquid test turned out, uh, said the water was both the same in both tanks. So I have no idea what did it, but I think these are just super insecure fish and it's a lot, you know, this electric blue strain that they're doing of fish, I am confident that the only tough fish that they're getting out of it is the Acaras. Um, I've found that the electric blue Acaras are super sturdy and are basically the same as a regular blue Acara. But all the other ones are pretty similar to like Glowfish. I know it sucks to say, but uh, these strains, this is a recessive strain and it's just like, it's making these fish like, for instance, the glow light Danio. It takes the, one of the toughest fish in the industry, but uh, when you do the glow light Danio, it, it makes it one of the weakest fish in the industry. And um, it's, it's really sad to say, but it's just the bitter truth. I'm not convinced on his fish because I truly think that even within this year, these two fish could possibly die. So I hate to say it, but this seller, I'm not gonna give any info out and it, it just sucks to say, but it's just how it is. And I'm guessing that this seller wanted me to have a good turnout so that I could say, hey guys, uh, this guy sends amazing fish and you need to buy them. Here's his name on Aquabit. But it turns out that's not the case. Um, uh, this is a this is a touchy topic because I don't like talking badly about strains of fish or breeders or brands in themselves because I don't want that to be like what my channel's about. So talking about brands and all that stuff, it's a touchy subject. But if you've kept electric blue Dempsey's, leave a comment below. If you are looking for the advice from other people, you should visit the comment section because I'm just one man and I'm kind of making a lot of voice on YouTube and making a bad rap for this fish is kind of what he was telling me. And I've had a lot of people message me privately saying, hey, uh, I have this adult Dempsey, you're an idiot and you're wrong. But I'm like, 
uh, send me a picture and they send me a picture and it's not a true electric blue it's like just a super vibrant regular Dempsey so enough babbling let me know what you guys think of this one touchy topic uh, this is weird with all these new strains they're trying to make with these fish I just I don't I think it's more for a selling point okay I'm gonna be done talking about this because I just don't like it so 